Hello and welcome to my F1 manager career mode. Managing Mercedes. We are here in Hungary where we've just had qualifying. We are starting P5 and P9, but some of those in front of us, as you can see there, do have a couple of penalties. This is the red rest of the grid. So let's get into the strategy for the Grand Prix. There is a bit of rain expected very early on in the Grand Prix you can see there quite a bit so basically what we are going to do is start both Lewis and George on the soft tyres and hope the rain comes before their soft tyres run out so let's go to the race and here we go with the Hungarian Grand Prix and it's lights out and away we go so as Crofty said we are racing and it's a good start from Verstappen not so much from Sergio Perez it's a good start by Sainz there and Lewis is going to dive bomb straight down the middle of both of them come on Lewis get them he's got the Ferrari by the looks of things as he goes round the outside come on Lewis keep your foot in keep your foot in he's still there you know it's the inside line but Sainz chops him off and he stays in P4 slightly annoying I think George may have gained one position back there but he is behind the house of Magnussen now to keep on to lap 4 it's taken him a few attempts but finally through goes George Russell on Magnussen and I can hopefully try to close the gap to up to Lewis and get away from the house because we should be much quicker than that but Ocon goes up the inside and catches the house mapping as now though this is Leclerc making his way back through the field so yeah as you can see here the rain has started as this is Magnussen he's really overtaken the Alpine and now it's really overtaken George he's struggling a bit now but being as the race is coming down we're going to put both George and Lewis onto the intermediates because there's some time to be found here if there's some drivers that do stay out which in this case Max is in Perez though of course he does he has to stay out otherwise he's going to lose too much time Onto the inters goes Max Verstappen and he's driven off but the tyres haven't the, the Ferrari's in Lewis is in and we are just about going to manage the double stack there can we get George out back out ahead of the Haas out comes Lewis now hopefully he can gain a bit of time on those behind him like he was doing before and this is Ocon struggling and Leclerc out there on mediums slightly so around the outside he's struggling this is Hamilton on Ocon who is actually on the full wet tyres the Alpine think this is going to get wetter but he is struggling so much at the minute as we go through on the inters but the rain did get heavier so that wet tyres for the Alpine has worked wonders as those wet tyres did turn on for Ocon and he really just start to have some pace so like it was back in Spain with Verstappen if you remember that one and he won the race by a mile Alpine had done the same sort of thing there and Hamilton is hunting down Valtteri Bottas he will do the same thing as the Alpine and go on to the wet tyres but now drivers are struggling so much as this is Mick Schumacher spinning round and a couple of laps later this is the Alfa Tauri spinning round as well at the exact same part of the track as now the rain still very heavy and Lewis is on the back of Bottas and can he get past Bottas he's got the pace he's very quick currently Bottas never been that good in the wet but Lewis Hamilton definitely is but he's too far back but he just can't 
get close enough oh, okay. at the minute. We're pushing him along, we're trying, we're trying. There's a cap at the inside, Lewis, and he hasn't gone for it. As they go through turn two, and by the time we get to lap 26, the rain has stopped and the sun has come out. And this is so frustrating because Lewis is still behind Bottas. He's had the pace of Bottas, but he just can't get close enough. And in every lap between it, um, it was raining up to now. This has been what Hamilton's been doing. Getting close into turn one, getting closer into turn two, and then trying into turn four. But now it is time for the dry tyres and Lewis has left it very late for him. And he has stayed out. We're going to put him onto the hard tyres to try and get him to the end. But I decided against that idea. Put George on the mediums and then changed Lewis onto the mediums as well. Because those tyres can go to the end. But now, where does he come out relative to Bottas? I'm thinking he's going to lose a lot of places. A lot of time and out he comes and he has lost a fair bit of time not as much as I thought he's just be out the Aston Martin is a lap down and now this is George Russell coming out on the back of Perez who stayed out earlier running the Grand Prix of course when it started raining and has clearly had to stay out again and while the, whilst the Red Bull Gets those tyres up to temperature, George is all over the back of him. And now, George has managed to stick with Perez, and up the inside of the red bullet, turn two. Go on, son. And he's got the job done. Well done, George. Up the red next for him is Alonso in the Alpine. It's a race for... But, of course, the Red Bull way too quick, so he is rare for taking George there like he weren't even there. And now, this is Perez on Alonso. Up the inside, going into a very, where everyone was locking up, and Alonso there has gone straight on and into the barrier. And something's happened to Sainz, who's right at the front. What's happened? He's locked up, and into the wall, the what is that? That may help us out. He did that in qualifying, I think, in real life. A couple of years ago. And fair play to Leclerc. He is flying. Not quite as much as Max was last time out in France. When he completed the last, the first challenge. But, he is flying. And this is the most annoying thing about this race. Lewis just didn't have the pace to deal with Bottas. On the, on the dry tyres, but if we could have just got him ahead during the wet stint, he could have been gone up the road, as Leclerc overtakes him to get onto the podium, and Perez, okay. who got away from George, and George was just on his own at this point in the race, has now caught the back of Hamilton, but can we keep Lewis on the podium here. That Ferrari, obviously superior. Nothing we can do about that. So coming out of the first corner now. That Ferrari way too quick to this Mercedes. But can we get Lewis back on the podium? To the inside. And that's a great move, Lewis. And he has re taken him there. Cuts him across the turn three. And now. Hopefully he can stay there. But, as I think I mentioned in the last video, or the Austria video, this footage is very old as he's overtaken again by Leclerc. So this was back when the DRS was very, very powerful. So, and also, Hungary, sort out your DRS please, because it's really annoying that there's only one detection zone. And it just makes the second DRS zone completely useless if you're trying to defend and you've lost out of turn one. But as you can see now, the podium chance is gone. Don't need to worry about that anymore. The clear has gone. And now Perez may well be past us now into turn two. And he is. 
and that's that I'm pretty sure now 15 laps to go unless Lewis can stick with him but on to the final lap then round the final corner Max Verstappen has done exactly what he did last time out minus the comeback drive he wins the Hungarian Grand Prix by some margin and you can see there Leclerc has got Bottas who's defended him Bottas has been in P2 most of this race and now coming into the final corner fair play Valtteri Bottas Alfa Romeo have got the strategy bang on P2 for Bottas B3 for Leclerc great comeback drive Lewis P5 and it is going to be P6 for Gasly, P7 for Sainz, Perez P5, George can only manage P8. So they've lost out, but I think for how the race played out, I don't think that's too bad. More points on the board as well. As we go into the summer break, so not a bad way to go into the summer break. Obviously, we were staring at a podium, and maybe if Lewis got Bottas we could be sat here talking a completely different race but great result from Valtteri Bottas down at the back still Williams and Aston Martin and that's pretty much been this race so Leclerc has kind of taken a dent in his championship with back to back wins for Max Verstappen but Max uh, we'll see what he has to do I think that is too much of a big mountain to climb for him at the minute that result from Bottas has jumped jumped him ahead of George after it took us all that time to get both of us up in front of Bottas in the championship and you can see everyone else behind as well Ferrari still dominating the constructors as well complete parallel to what happened in real life currently now for the real 2023 season but we have gained some more points we're still miles ahead of those behind but I hope you have enjoyed this video a very mixed day in Hungary but I hope you enjoyed another F1 manager video and I'll see you in the next one goodbye